Hey Psych2Go family, thanks so much for all the love and support that you continue to give us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone. So let's begin. How do two people fall in love? Love is complicated and challenging. It grows through hardship and blossoms in the most unlikely places, but we all want love in our lives. So how do you develop a lasting love with your partner? In this video, we'll be talking about the seven stages of falling in love. One, curiosity. Long before you fall in love, you and your partner meet for the very first time. In the earliest stages of love, partners experience the fluttering feeling of curiosity. In your first moments together, you hear your partner's voice, you see their smile, and you get butterflies in your stomach. Early on, you don't know how you feel about each other yet. All you know is that this person feels special. Two, attraction. In stage two, curiosity blooms into attraction. You and your partner go on dates. You make each other laugh. You enjoy each other's company, physically and emotionally. In a 2016 study, Langisleg explains that romantic feelings are most prevalent in this early stage of love. You fall head over heels and your partner seems absolutely flawless. You talk about this person all the time. You feel nervous whenever they're around, but you wanna be around them constantly. According to a 2016 study by Sashadri, the second stage is amplified by euphoric hormones in your brain. It's these hormones that blind you with desire and push you closer to your partner. Three, coupling. As you and your partner spend more time together, your hormones begin to settle. You start to really enjoy each other's company until finally you become a couple. In this stage, your pace begins to slow down. You feel warm and cuddly around each other. You become more involved in each other's lives. You meet your partner's family and friends. You expose insecurities and you start to feel safe. Stage three might not be as wild as stage two, but it's one of the happiest stages for many couples. Of course, stage three doesn't last forever. Four, discomfort. Eventually, your partnership will face a major hurdle. Your visions of the future may not line up. One partner may experience sudden trauma and your relationship will face its largest obstacle yet. For many couples, stage four is the end of the road. This obstacle can feel insurmountable and the relationship may crumble. You begin fighting often. You feel angry, resentful, or hurt. Happiness gives way to ambivalence and dissatisfaction. For some couples, these feelings are too strong, so they go their separate ways. Five, vulnerability. Many couples persevere through these hardships. They survive the rough patch and confront that intimidating obstacle. As difficult as it sounds, that perseverance will make your relationship stronger than ever. In stage five, you and your partner get to the root of the problem. You search for the reasons why you're struggling and you resolve that pain together. This intense vulnerability bonds you even closer and you instill in each other the kind of trust that lasts a lifetime. Six, creative intimacy. By stage six, you and your partner have opened up to each other. You've shown each other your true selves. All your walls have come crumbling down. Now it's time to rebuild the relationship. In stage six, you learn to love each other for who you are. You figure out how you and your partner can live a life that makes both of you happy because mutual happiness is essential to any successful relationship. And seven, stable love. Now that you've overcome challenges and expressed your deepest fears, your love becomes comfortable again. You settle into your lives as you learn to live with, around, and beside each other. Many couples rest in this final stage for years. Others move back and forth between stages. Your partnership may have high highs and low lows, but remember that love never comes quickly or easily. Love requires happiness and hardship, conflict and vulnerability, honesty and trust. Even after you've reached stage seven, the relationship still requires work. In the same 2016 study, Langisleg explains how important it is to keep that spark alive. Try new and exciting activities together. Stay vulnerable and honest with each other. You may find yourselves revisiting earlier stages, but that's okay. 
People grow and change over the years, so allow your love to grow and change alongside you. Have you ever experienced these seven stages? Which of these stages stands out in your relationship? Tell us about your experiences in the comments section below. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to Psych2Go for more psychology content. And as always, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.